Hey Game Changers, this video is all about how you can make some simple shortcuts to replace and crop your images right inside of Canva. So have you ever just decided you found the perfect photo and you put it in Canva and the image is cut off or the person's face or head is cut off? Well, I'm going to show you how you can fix that in a short period of time. By the way, I'm Jay Stone, Master Brand Strategist, and I help entrepreneurs build bankable brands. So, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and then hit the notification bell so you can get all my latest updates. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so the first thing that you need to know about replacing images is the foundation. Basically, images should always be placed in a frame. So what is a frame? A frame is when you see this uh, cloud and the grass with the blue background. Those are what frames look like in Canva. And they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. That's a whole nother video. Won't get into that right now. But I want you to know the what makes it easy to replace images is that they need to be sitting in a frame. All right, so once you understand that there is a frame here, then you can simply drag and drop your image, drag and drop your image. So if you look to the left, I'm here and there's a few places we can get photos. So right now what I did just went on the left menu and you see all of this where you have templates, photos, text, follow the mouse. Right here on the photos is where I clicked and it's basically going to give you a photo library right? And it'll show recently photos trending. But let's look at how we can search for the photo that we want. So the first thing you want to do is go at the top where it says search photos, all right? And I am using Canva Pro, okay? But I'm going to show you how to look for free photos as well. So if you see the little three sliders right up here to the right of the search box, I click that button and then it gives me different criteria to search on. So I can search for images that are the orientation is square, vertical, horizontal. I can also click free or I can click pro. If you have the pro version, it gives you more options. So I'm going to click free. And I also know that my frame is vertical. So I'm also going to select vertical. And then I'm going to click apply filters. Now you can do the colors, but it gives you a lot less um, options when you choose the colors. So I generally don't apply that. All right, so I'm going to click apply filters and you know the filters are applied because the little slider now has a number over it and that number is two. Okay, and then I can search for whatever I want. And so uh, I just type in businesswoman, which I recently searched for, and it brings up all of these vertical photos. Okay, all of these vertical photos. So these are, again, the free photos. Okay, so I'm going to click select this one. So if you just click it, right, it's just going to drop it wherever in your in your in your <clears throat> in your design. And that's not what you want. You want it in the frame. Okay, because the frame is exactly where you want. <clears throat> it's situated exactly where you want it to be. So I'm going to hold down my mouth, left mouse button and simply drag it over into the image, into the frame, okay? So I'm gonna do that once more. Drag this over right here, all right? So <clears throat> we see that this image is cut off and that's not what we want it, so I want like the people centered. So I'm gonna select this image and as soon as you select the object, right, I'm gonna deselect select the object, a menu of choices pops up at the top that's relevant to this particular object. So I want to click it again so you can watch it appear and you can see crop right up here, right? When you have crop, then guess what? The frame, you can see the frame is a little darker and the transparency outside of the frame, when you see the opacity or the transparency changes, that tells you that this part of the image is actually outside of the frame. 
So you'll notice that the crosshairs look right here. You see the crosshairs? The crosshairs tells you where you can grab the image and dra drag it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to drag the image to the right to get the people more centered in the frame. And so I'm going to click the done check mark. <clears throat> and now the people are centered. Okay, there's a much more simple way to do this. You simply double select, double click the image, and you can still get to the crop menu. It's a shortcut to the crop menu, so I can still move it around. And if I hit enter, it's done. Okay, so I'm going to double click, slide back, hit return or enter, it's done. Okay, so that's the easiest way to do it. Now, let's talk about resizing this just a little bit because I don't want all of these trees in this image. So I'm going to double click and this time I'm going to go out and you see that the crosshairs when I scrolled up to the corner it changed into the arrow sign. And so I'm going to grab the, grab the corner and drag that out to get these people a little bit larger. And then I'm going to go back to the crosshairs, drag it to the left, and center them. And now I've taken out some of the trees. And I'm going to click Done, or you can click Return or Enter. And now I have that bigger. All right. So I'm going to show you this with a little more complexity. Because let's just say the perfect image you want is not vertical. Let's just say it's horizontal. That's going to make it a little more difficult to get things exactly where you want them. So I'm going to choose this image here because this is one of those really large banner size images. <clears throat> Drag it over and it cut her off, right? We only got her the tip of her toe. So I'm going to crop. I'm going to get the crosshairs. I'm going to drag her over to the middle and I'm going to click done. I'm going to click done. And so it's simple. It's that simple. I'm going to show you one more time just so we can make it easy for you to do. Okay. If I click and drag this image, right, this woman is cut off, but let's just say I don't want her face. Let's just say I want her hand. So I'm going to double click or click the crop and I just want her hands. So I want to slide, but I want her hands bigger. So I'm going to take the, the the double arrow and make this bigger and just go with her hands. And then I'm going to click done. And that's what we have here. All right. So this is how you can crop, replace, and resize your images inside of Canva. Happy branding, everyone. And we will catch you on the flip side.